straightaway for the first time in an Indy car. One car with an engine going, it looked like. And oh, no, against crash. the wall. That looks like uh, Mark Plundell. Oh, he looks like he's okay, but he's, uh, he's moving in the car. Mark Blundell, a stream of smoke. I don't know if it was because the engine went or because he was already losing it. Hard against the wall, but he climbs out immediately, and of course, the yellow comes out. So we're in our second yellow. Oh, yeah. Oh, his motor was definitely going. Somebody was very lucky there. That looked almost, oh. ooh. Oh, that's that, a lucky impact. That's a lucky impact for him to walk away. And I'll tell you who else was lucky. Was it looked like his well, teammate? Well, maybe not so lucky. Let's hope he's okay. He's down on the ground. And that's the, of course, the IndyCar safety team. Dr. Steve Alvey was the man over him. Look at him pass right behind his teammate. Tucks his nose under his wing. Not a good angle to hit the wall. Car does what it's supposed to, though. That disintegration is good. That's energy leaving the car. So as the car hugs the wall, this is at regular speed. Watch that car. Boy, oh boy, well, I'll oh tell boy. You, I'm, I'm sitting up here and haven't been in that position before. That really hurts. That yep. really hurts. Be very careful about uh, Mark Blundell's condition now. He climbed out of the car under his own power, but seemed to collapse by the edge of the track. Safety crews keeping him there. You notice how they position the vehicle, too, to protect uh, the work they're doing from uh, any of the other cars should anything else happen. He's definitely got a problem there. Something definitely goes wrong. It might have been that smoke we saw coming out of the back of the car, but uh, 